I'm Jay Buchanan, class of 2017. I studied theater and politics at Wake Forest University, and I'm now in graduate school for art history at Washington University in St. Louis. I'm so glad to be back at START, where I was the manager from 2017 to 2019, as a five and under featured alum this year. I curated this show, The Grid and Millennial Vision, selections from the John P. Anderson Student Art Collection for five and under. The grid is a technology of abstraction. We use grids in a lot of different ways to mark what we know from what we don't know, or what we know that we don't know. You see that in spreadsheets, you see that in pixels, you see that in city blocks, and um, in the two works right here, you, you see the way that the grid is used in map making and cartography to help us understand where we are in the world. Marcus Keeley's Proximity and Catherine Robinson's Landlock are two works that are doing that. They're sort of playing with geography and the way that the grid helps us understand it. Keeley's work in particular is also introducing the possibility for insidious uses of the grid. Map making is not always a sort of benign enterprise. It can be a, an instrument of coloniality, and it's certainly also an instrument of surveillance, something that sort of numerates and charts what are otherwise the qualitative, particular, unknowable parts of people's lives. So we begin to see in these two works, and I think throughout the grid and millennial vision, that artists are really beginning and, and have long problematized the idea that the grid is somehow an apolitical geometric form. It actually has a lot of different political ends, um, and it's really just a matter of who's using it. This is a 2004 work by Zach Klein called The Pink Bodies. It's a really interesting example of the cross-section of work that appears in the show. I really like this work because it brings together the kind of standardizing functions that the grid can have. It sort of standardizes the positioning of bodies and we see the wigs and the sort of pink outfits repeating. But that's collided with the particularity of the bodies themselves. Every girl in these images looks very different despite the standardizing attempts. So I think we sort of see in this one a struggle that many millennial artists are familiar with and, and certainly other artists too, um, where really, yeah, you're trying to negotiate between the sort of rigid functions of something like the grid, a motif that's all about replication and continuity with the sort of messiness of being a person. This is a digital photograph by Anne Wen, who graduated the same year that I did, and she did this work as part of her honors project in studio art. The photograph is from an untitled series. The subject's name is Sarah. And the project explored the history of race and color in Kodak photo film. So specifically thinking about the cards and other technologies that were used by early photographers to basically balance color and the ways that that is a, a racist history, that color was always balanced in accordance with white as the sort of assumed skin phenotype. And she photographed a number of different subjects, um, most of them students of color, and really was sort of taking that up as a reparative project as a photographer. So trying to kind of interrogate the history of photography. Um, we see the grid here too, of course, for color comparison. And it's one of many ways that the grid is used uh, as a technology of art and representation. The Grid and Millennial Vision is on view at Start in Rinalda Village until April 15th, 2022, and I hope you're able to come and see it.